Hi. We found a great capo that's new called the Liberty Flip Capo, model 4.3, and we found it to be a really great addition to the drumstick. It has a long leg and a short leg. It can actually be put on in either position. I'm going to put it on the drumstick with the long leg on top of the strings here at the third fret. And I'll just turn the thumb wheel to tighten it up. The shorter back leg centers nicely on the neck. With the capo at the third fret, you get the notes of a major scale using the extra fret that we've provided, partly so that you could do a capo at the third fret, and we've shifted the D strumstick into key of G. So you can get the sound of a G strumstick on your D strumstick. And that's a great sound you can get with the capo at the third fret. Now I'm going to move the capo down to the first fret. Now here we move our D drumstick up to E because we've raised it by a whole tone, the space of the first fret. But we're going to see a minor scale now because the fret pattern goes whole step, half step, whole step etc. A different fret sequence. And uh, this position is really great for playing uh, traditional tunes in uh, mountain minor tuning, which comes from uh, banjo music. So that's some great things you can do with the capo at the first fret on the drumstick. Now you can also move the capo to the second fret. And on the second fret, you get a scale that starts with a half tone, which has kind of an eastern sound, but it also has within it pentatonic minor scale, which is great for playing blues. So there's some fun blues that you can do on the drumstick with the capo at the second fret. Now there's one more position that's really useful, and that's if you put the capo all the way up to the fourth fret. Now you're using up half of your fingerboard here, so you're trading a little uh, flexibility with fewer notes, but in this position we've raised the, the D drumstick all the way up to A, and we're giving you the choice of either a major scale or a minor scale if you use the extra fret. Now there aren't many songs that switch between major and minor 
um, in the middle of the song, but there are some, and it gives you the choice of some interesting chord voicings on some of the other chords, so you can decide where you're going when. That, uh, that uh, choice between the major third and the minor third in the middle gives you some chromatic possibilities that you wouldn't normally find on the diatonic strum stick. So you can uh, definitely find interesting things to do with the capo at the fourth fret also. So there's the, uh, the Liberty Flip capo. And again, we found this to be a really great addition to uh, the strum stick. A lot of things you can do with it.